What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Captain Redbeard, and today we are continuing on with the campaign of RoboCop Rogue City. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far, and yes, I am wearing the exact same clothes because I am recording this literally right after I just finished the last episode. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe down below, and uh, we will be very happy to... I will be very happy if we can bump up those subscribers and hit a few more likes, it would be absolutely incredible. Let's get into RoboCop Rogue City. Bah. All right, let's continue. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. All right, sounds good. We're gonna go get our evaluation done, get some XP points, and then be leveling up armor oh, and health. Back. Excuse me. No, calm down. Oh, man, that was a brutal one. We're going to be talking to the person again. The therapist. Warden's gift discovered note about Wendell and Tanowski found. Cunning prisoner stopped. We got a B. Oh, we got three skill points. Let's go. That's it for me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Oh, shit. Okay. We'll give her a call. Answer. First, though. Might as well take armor all the way up and then take that there. Engineering. Critical damage doubled. Hmm. And yeah, we'll get those up. Nowski escapes from the <clears throat> security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some police with criminal plans have to be All right, let me go and give her a call. See if she's okay. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. <laughs> What's going on? What seems to be the problem. My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to. Except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. <sighs> Shit. Okay. We gotta get down there. I'm not leaving here to handle. Maybe because it's a suitable candidate. Well, nice. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? No, I'll take care of it. <laughs> this guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Yeah, hey, I'll take don't over. don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy. 
I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Yeah, I'll go have a conversation. What are you doing, dummy? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. What's going on down in the locker room? It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. All right. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit. Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Oh my god. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. Yes, please. I think the problem started when OCP nope. brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss, as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Let's take a look. Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on me. Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence, and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. Ah, shit. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. Be careful, jackass. I can't undo the injustice you oh, suffered, God. but I want to make it right. I promise I'll try to get better with the camera thing. I just don't know why there's going to be a cutscene when there's not going to be a cutscene. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's right. the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? I will. I will attempt to. See, I knew Officer Washington wasn't... Oh, we're going to a whole... Let's go do that. Yeah, let's go do the fishy situation thing. Let's do the side quest. Major side quest? I'm down. I'm always down for a good side quest. For a lot of main quests where sad shit keeps happening. Dumb shit. You cannot leave this area. Can you? Fine. 
go to the stupid. Murphy, <clears throat> here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Imagine punching somebody with that. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. <laughs> Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Fuck you. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. All right, now we can, uh, now we can go Can't do something fishy. Out there, You're you and not me both. Anywhere. But sure. Murphy, Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Uh. Let's talk to this douche. What do you want? You called? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure, take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars and the next thing you know they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Every cop thought about that, then this would just be all anarchy. The problem is you gotta believe in the justice system, but when the justice system fails you... <laughs> wish there was a way that we could pay our cops more and pay the judges better so that they don't have to be bought out, but... It is what it is. Reed has a really high way of doing that, sadly. Murphy, are you on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. I am. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. We'll do something fishy, then we'll do the main quest. This town in bright daylight, it's kind of nice. Let me guess, one of my objectives is... Serve and protect. Look for signs of law breaking. There's only three. Conf confiscate stolen items and crime evidence. Okay. We'll go do something fishy. We'll do the side quest. And then 
we will look for stolen evidence, I guess, and then we will uh take care of that. God, this city's so busted up. What's going on? Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Sounds good. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him. Good boy. Oh, the fish are gonna go bad. Oh, quit your whining, Pops. It's not like anyone can smell the difference. All right, I got an itch, and then we'll go in there and mess these guys up, shall Open we? Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money, so you better scram if you don't want trouble. I do not take orders from criminals. What if I want trouble? I need. All I need. What I want is not important. What I need is your surrender. Well, how about batteries, huh? I'm sure you need those to stick them up your ass to keep that freak show running. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. But I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. Appreciate that. That was intense. Good well, job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Happy to be of assistance, sir. Oh no, I don't know why you have so much shit all throughout. All up throughout your shop. But that is what it is. <laughs> You know what's funny is I looked at that door, I was like, I wonder if I can go in there. There uh, uh, a couple episodes ago. A few episodes ago. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. All right. Got this up, Robo. All right. Sounds good. Take Washington with you. All right. Let us go to... Which I feel is also going to be very heavy in gunfight, but yeah, call it in. Yeah, I call it in. Three K, twenty-five minutes. Is there somebody from the city out there? Yeah, yeah I, I, I call them. They're going to bring you. Remember the hell they were talking. About. <laughs>
Grumpy. With all those colorful flags and Hello. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her fifties, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. Thank you. So, you are the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. Oh, boy. No, thank you. Fuck. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you mm -hmm. notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No, but after a recent... I don't think the old man has something to do with it, other than he might want to... Device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Might as well. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yeah. Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I am glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or oppose orders of his superiors to fight for a good cause? But an actual person glitch. We should yes. make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. Ouch. This is what makes you different. From a machine, you should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. Okay. It's right there on the desk. 
That was funky. Why is it so funky? I have yeah. coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? This. Caution! She's not alone. Robocop is guarding the target. Regrouping! Oh, oh, God. God. oh God! Were they here to kill me? Yes, they were. Need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Can't go that way, so we gotta go this way. Pink guitar. Here it is. Follow me. Oh, I whipped! Stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is Olivia. I got something. Cannot go through. Fire is blocking the way. Go on, go on, kitty, run, run, oh. little kitty. I hear another cat. Hold on. I did. Oh, thank you so much. The sprinklers aren't working. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fuck. I'm finally starting to understand the shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand. It puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? 
Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. <laughs> I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. What a damn mess. Uh, track the targets exact location. Use a single strength indicator in the upper left hand corner. Okay. And I got a skill point. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about election. But they get free food for handing out flyers. <laughs> no, I'm going the wrong direction, but I'm also looking for police stuff, like violation stuff. And I'm also going to check to see if this cache is still open or if there's shit inside. There's no shit inside. Okay. So if it's open, that means there's nothing in there. If it's closed, it means there's stuff in there. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Signal is super weak, which means it's probably gonna be like over here somewhere. But we're looking for criminal activity and also we might as well go check to see if this cache is closed or open. Got my camera on, right? Yep, I do. Okay. okay. It's open, so it is. Not that it works. By the way, the signal thing, I'll move this for there for now. So that you guys can see the signal. I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. <laughs> I just told her to shut up. Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you. Hurt the kid. I hurt you. Let's get this guy for this oil spill again. I gave that dude a ticket before. I think it's kind of funny. strength is getting weaker over here so it's actually gonna to be top left actually Ooh, what's going on over here hey Robo could you help us we're in quite a pickle hey what's going on we have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office this case is urgent but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse for some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterward, you know... Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, uh, great. But, uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case... Gladly. We choked himself to death. Was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The deceased is holding the phone. 
The last number dialed is described as the office. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The Get phone, it. the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. <laughs> we'll make sure there. And maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. <laughs> Like I told those cops, no ambulance, just leave me be. You tried to rob a corpse. Now I am truly offended. Without me, these cops would have turned to ash. I should get a medal for it or something. You avoided death. Take it as a sign to change your life. Start by helping me with this investigation. Damn, are you a preacher in your spare time or something? We can talk. Just quit bugging me with your conversion bullshit. What do you know about that car? Uh, I know the guy who owns it. I mean, I knew him. He always stopped here to pick up this blonde gal. <laughs> Real peach, I'm telling you. <laughs> High class. Describe the woman. Uh, she likes jewelry, but she's not covered with it like a Christmas tree. She knows how to wear it. That much I can say. Okay. So more than likely a escort of some sort. Officer. I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course, but first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. I can help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Hi, Rose. Come back to say hello. It'll be our good. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. 
Visitors don't look too closely. I'm making an impression. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. <laughs> Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. <laughs> Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Find that password. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. I'm gonna go in there and see what's going on in here. Nothing. Bathroom. What'd you find out? We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Sounds good. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, though. It was a really good game. It is definitely worth the play. God, single strength is really high right here, but that's good. Oh, dog's being crazy. How do I know where exactly to go? Hello. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Kuzak's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? Evidence of the crime scene. A witness testified that you met with Mr. Page shortly before he died. I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. Why does everyone think I'm a part of o those knobheads? Not a part of those douchebags. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny arm. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? 
such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. Go. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? Is this a gift for Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. Mm -hmm. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Being restrained is exciting only for those who are truly free. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Good. Wrong way. I just realized she has like handcuffs all over her bed. Officer Neil, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? Oh, Neil here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure. Oh God, is she like about to jump off a roof or something? Let's go see what the hell's going on. You know, he's still passed out. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. The other lady knew how to tie knots, Once though. Again. Let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. Thought it was a secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As okay. long as it's not red, I... The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Sesame. Maybe we can find something there. sure. Keep reminding me of the... Just delete already! Agatha Crane? You are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political <coughs> strategist? You have the right to an attorney. Blackmail's also this illegal. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. <clears throat> okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. Hmm. <laughs> 
OCP ship. And an OCP container. Yummy. I wonder what that chip was. Ooh, let's take a look. New speed, improving accuracy. Old. Yeah, no. I like the single bullet. What a mess. What if turning off the radio? The long awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto oh boy. Later. But that is going to be all for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of side missions mostly. Um, did a little bit of main quest, but mostly side quests. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did enjoy that episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And if you have any suggestions for any games that you would like to see me play in the future or start them whenever, please leave that down in the comment section down below. And any suggestions to improve the channel. I'll work on the camera BS a little bit. I promise I will work on that. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now we'll see you beautiful people in the next episode. Much love. Peace out. Bye-bye.